one of the Kokora males gingerly approaches the ruling residents. He's deep in their territory, and it's a blatant challenge to their authority. These grizzled veterans have seen many territorial battles, but age is now beginning to show. The lone Kokora male decides to retreat. Two to one. The odds are not in his favour today, but he's young and can afford to wait. The veterans rule for another day. As well as the lions, the gear is divided into other territories. The Maldaris have strictly defined grazing areas associated with each nest, the home stockade. The Maldaris' lives revolve around the unchanging routines of taking their cattle and buffaloes out of the nest at first light, grazing and returning at dusk. It would be easy to romanticize the Maldari's world. But pastoralists and predators don't mix, as some Maldaris know from personal encounters with the lions. The Maldaris, cattle and buffalo have always formed a significant part of the lion's diet. Strict vegetarians, the Maldaris keep cattle solely for milk. If an animal is killed by the lions, it has no further value for them and is abandoned to the local carnivores. The kill is revisited by a hierarchy of scavengers until the male that made the kill returns to finish his meal. Late afternoon and the herdsmen start to call in their cattle and buffaloes. The nest is made secure in a scene unchanged in centuries. In the patriarchal world of the nest, roles and responsibilities are clearly demarcated. By contrast, the ridey pride is fairly typical of the matriarchal structure adopted by the gear lions. The group is led by an adult female and includes her eldest daughter, now two and a half years old. Below her are three younger cubs, two female and one male, now almost a year old.
For now, the pride will depend on the lioness, supported by her eldest daughter, to make enough kills to sustain the whole family. Once inside the thorny walls, the cattle are safe. Lions don't often share kills with lionesses or even their own offspring. If the ridey pride is going to eat, they'll need to kill afresh. Their inexperience shows, especially on a full moon when the herds can see them coming a long way off. February, and the earth dries out. March and high summer turns to drought. The king of the jungle drinks wherever it pleases, but the Maldari are forbidden to water their beasts at these troughs. Hey. 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 